Fire slashed, windows smashed. Police in Bucks County say vandals damaged dozens of cars and now some drivers are out hundreds of dollars for repairs. Police say the vandals struck early Tuesday morning in Sellersville. Residents there frustrated and hoping they won't strike again. Seanette Wilson reports. Police say whoever did this is facing felony charges. People stuck with high bills and some can't afford repairs. My daughter came home from work around 1230, 1 o'clock in the morning, parked her car uh, right in front of the house. But around 8 o'clock that morning on Hughes Avenue, this is what Amanda Deal and her family found. Two of the tires were slashed on the one, and then I looked over to my daughter's, my other daughter's car and two of the other tires were slashed. Her daughter had worked that day. She needed to get a tow truck and the bill to replace the tires nearly $700, plus the cost of towing. Wondering who could have done this and why. But Deal would soon find out she wasn't the only victim. 27 total vehicles were damaged. We had 32 tires that were slashed. We had 11 windows that were either broken or damaged, and we had six additional vehicles that had um, some damage to them that was consistent with either a pellet or a BB. Percocy police also cover Sellersville Borough where the crimes happen, and Chief Robert Schur says surveillance video from eight streets in the borough captured this minivan, which they believe is a dark gray 2017 to 2020 Chrysler Pacifica with two people inside. Police say a witness reported seeing a teen believed to be 14 to 16 years old getting in and out of the vehicle. Police say the incidents happened between 355 and 430 in the morning on Tuesday, August 22nd, but there were other incidents months before. Our first reports uh, that we started to take over the summer were in June, and we've had a handful of reports up until August 22nd, where we had um, the 27 cars damaged. We saw this car on Wickford Drive with flat tires. A crime spree, yeah. for sure. And across the street, the bro doors had tires slashed too. I had to take a day off of work. It cost me $1,000 to replace my tires. It's going to cost my neighbors brand new tires. and. So it's just it's just Tell frustration. Me. So far, police estimate the damage to be between $10,000 and $15,000 from reports submitted so far. They're asking anyone with surveillance cameras to check video for any suspicious activity. In Percocy, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.